Fasting update day eight. I can't believe I've gone this far, said the man in the tub. Said the man in the tub. I can't believe I've gone this far. Did a podcast today. <clears throat> Great guest, Christina Hutchinson. Hutch. And I was a little concerned, so I was like, come on, bro, you're pushing it a little hard. I did the Lisa A. Romano podcast on the third day. So this is day eight. And I just wanted to keep it going because I felt the internal cleaning still happening. And I'm still not really hungry. Um, trace minerals help a lot with that if you're thinking about doing a water fast trace minerals you can get them at your local health food store or on one of them highfalutin ordering services called, named after big forests but get it at your local health food store yeah trace minerals a little bit of that it's electrolytes. I think there's a little potassium in there and, you know, salt, pink Himalayan salt. I don't know what's in there. Lots of stuff, but no calories. Anyway, you put a little of that in your water in the morning. It, it just takes away that dizzy, like, oh, what's going on feeling. And, yeah, I don't know how much longer this is going to go. I could break it at any moment, but kind of thinking about uh, doing it for like at least one or two more days. We'll see. I mean, I, I go online and there's all these people that do it for like 21 days and stuff like that. And it's just such a fascinating experience and a unique one. And really when you get past the three days, you're, you're in another space. You're just, an, you're in another world really in a, in a way. And it's interesting and it's fun. And so you kind of get attached to it, but like, you know, not in an anorexia, I'm starving myself way like, at all. More in a way where you're connecting to your spirit and your soul. And God or your higher power or, you know, the divine, the supernatural or just, you know, lots is made clear. There's like a clarity in your mind that occurs. I mean, so much, so much junk food we eat, like, you know, inflammation is caused by sugar and stuff like that. And not just in your body, but in your mind. So even if you're like having, you know, what you think of as sort of healthy stuff, like a bowl full of pasta, it's going to turn to sugar and then it's going to cause inflammation and that's going to go in your mind clouds up your thinking it just does they have evidence that you know fasting helps uh, dementia even so I don't know it's just it's cool it's cool it's a cool reset and and what a what a hack if you have like some situations in your life that you've been avoiding I don't know, because it just pushes you towards that direction, you know? The devil don't want you to know, doesn't want you to fast. I can tell you that. Because, you know, it takes out the distractions. And it's really a nice opportunity to just go easy on yourself and meditate a lot. Like, when you take away all of the dopamine or most of the typical dopamine sources you know you just pretty much have like some good habits left like meditation you know the cold showers Wim Hof becomes kind of a thrill and a, and a something I look forward to you know because it's a blast it's a blast of energy and uh yeah, it just really awakens like your inner warrior and your also the thing is too with cutting addictions is the minute you do and the minute you start doing something 
for yourself, you feel like a real boost of, um, what's it called? Momentum. You get a huge amount of momentum. And you don't count for that when you're locked into bad habits. You, you're just, you're locked into bad habits and it seems impossible. But the thing is, if you're locked into habit, bad habits, and, even, and especially for a long time, the minute you start turning it around, you take that first step towards turning it around, there's a huge rush of momentum that kicks in from you finally feeling like you're on your own side and going like, hell yeah, I'm on my own side. And then that builds, and slowly it builds and it becomes ecstatic in a way. So, yeah, um, I know I said I wasn't going to do another fasting update, but I did one, and, uh, yeah, all good over here, all good in the neighborhood, and I'm still getting texts from people inspired to do a fast, so that's the other reason why I'm like, oh, let's do another one, you know, because, uh, yeah, I'm getting, like, people interested in it and I think it's a really good thing um and for people concerned about it, oh it's too long it's like look I'm even I, I agree this seems like a long time but honestly when you do your research man people go a long time and I'm not recommending anything other than like you know a dopamine detox and a three-day water fast and then you choose your adventure i'm not like a doctor or anything and uh but i mean i feel like with me it's evident that it's become like a real healthy thing and i can just feel it inside today actually was the first day i woke up and i felt my organs being healthier like i felt my liver and my kidneys i could feel them like I could feel them being healthy. That's the only way I can describe it. Um, you know, the little aches and pains that come, that kick in and you like kind of like shove them off to the side. Uh, but when that healthy feeling kicks in, it's weird. It's like, oh shit, there's a, you know. And apparently you go long enough, fasting can even rebuild your organs. Um, but again, I, I'm not a doctor. I just play one on YouTube. I mean, on uh, Instagram. <laughs> anyway, man. Much love to everybody. God bless. Good night. I got these small little eyes. Always looks like I'm stoned and I'm not. Look. Anyway.